What is the sexiest thing someone has ever said to you? God I hate the fact that I can't even look at your fingers without wishing they were inside of me. Whispered by a colleague in the middle of the office. We'd been hooking up for a little while. I've been touching myself all day thinking about you f***ing me against the wall last night. Boners at work are very pesky. The first time I ever heard a girl say I want you inside me will always be the sexiest thing I've ever heard. Cook for me, and I will get naked for you, whenever you want needless to say, I cook for her a lot. The guy who taught me that I'm in fact a to slash multiplier. I honestly think he was trying to make me pass out sometimes. He succeeded once, just from fingering me. One particular night I'd orgasmed I don't know how many times I was spent. I turned around and gasped out, I'm good. I can't. I can't come anymore. I was all waving him off me trying to lay down. He leaned over my shoulder, grabbed my arm, and whispered in my ear, yes you can, and pushed me back down again. I came again immediately. He was so f***ing cocky it was ridiculous. And he always knew if I really had another one left in me or not. Over text. What do you want to do tonight? F*** you. Make dinner. F*** you again. Snuggle. Felt good knowing she was serious. Furiously making out with a girl in my bed. I keep trying to make moves to take off garments. Get rejected every time, but the intensity of the tonsil hockey keeps increasing. Finally ask her what do you want? Your c**k in my mouth. What followed was one of the best and most c**k hungry b**ks I've ever received. This one time, I'm on my back, in bed, with a naked girl on top of me. We'd been hooking up for a little while. She's straddling me and holding my c**k firmly with one hand, close enough so the tip of me is just barely pressing against her p She strokes me a few times with one hand, rakes her nails down my chest with another, slips me inside of her, and when the very last inch of my c**k is in, she whimpers and says oh my god, oh my god moan you're in all of me. It took all the self control I had not to c**k right then, before she even so much as wiggled her hips. You're so wet. Just makes me even wetter. I did a bit of stand up during an open mic and it surprisingly went over really well. I went to grab a drink and the bartender said to me you can totally make jokes about how I look naked, just as long as it is from a first hand account. After a few weekends, I had enough material for an hour. About 11.30pm on a weeknight in college I heard some giggling and footsteps outside my bedroom door. I opened it, and it was a hot girl I occasionally hooked up with and her friend, both somewhat drunk. Hookup girl says I wanted to come by and say hi. This is, friend's name, she wants to f**k you too. I've never been a particularly attractive guy. I look alright. Not ugly, but nothing special either. When I was around 21 to 22, I met this awesome girl through a mutual friend. We hit it off. Turned out we went to the same college, had similar interests, etc. Come to find, she's 32 years old. Holy shit. An attractive older woman, interested in me? Things progress, as they do, and we end up in bed after a nice dinner a few nights later. Things are getting hot and heavy, and she whispers oh my god, you're so fucking hot. I've been called handsome, mostly by aunts and grandmothers, and I've had women tell me they find me attractive, but to hear someone say that I'm so f***ing hot was mind blowing to me. Not only that, an older woman who wasn't drunk. I know there are better stories here, but that's mine. My friend with benefits said I'm f***ing over, but he'll only have 5 minutes. We did the deed and she gave me a high five and flashed me as she walked out of my apartment. I used to work as a server in a restaurant. My ex would come in frequently to eat and get brownie points, of course. One time, she could tell I was having a pretty rough night, so she left me an unusually big tip and wrote I expect a bigger tip from you when you get home on a napkin. Despite the bad shift, that still forced me to hit the men's room for a readjustment. First sex in a new relationship and we go several rounds. The next day, I get a text, I had never experienced a 30 second orgasm before. Congratulations. You win. Wow, your penis is beautiful. It had been called many things, but never that. And she was 6 years older than me, so that somehow made it even better. All of our debt is now paid off. I want you to come in my mouth. 
As long as I live, that will forever be my go-to happy place. You should have let me taste it after I couldn't take it anymore and came on her back. The next time I ensured this request was fulfilled. When I was 20 and having breakfast with my first serious girlfriend, she abruptly declared I need to f*** you in the kitchen. She almost seemed troubled by it. The combination of her sudden realization, that nonchalant yet determined attitude, and especially the use of the word need, sent me into a groping slash kissing slash ravaging frenzy. She needs this. I had to fulfill her desire. My girlfriend seemed really confused, but went along with the brazen spirit of my table-based conquest. There was a large woven rug beneath said table that had accumulated crumbs throughout the week. I'm not sure how long after the deed it was that I figured out she had actually said I need to vacuum the kitchen, but neither of us ever regretted this mistranslation. He had smoothly maneuvered me onto my back after we'd been making out for a while, with me straddling him on the bed. He had undressed me almost completely at this point, save for a hot pink pair of lacy panties. He then starts sliding my panties down over my hips and down my thighs and he says, Oh, I'm sorry, did you need these? In this really self-assured cocky tone of voice, you could almost hear the smirk on his face. Holy hell, every time I think back to it, I get a jolt in my stomach. Was dating a girl at my old job, we were just in the dating phase at this point. It was cubicle life. The girl and I sat two aisles away from each other. It was a busy call center. She sends me a corporate im and says check your phone. I look down and see a text from her. It was like a Wednesday, 11.20am in April. Everything about the day, time, and what was going on was pretty insignificant. It was just business as usual in the middle of the work week with no exciting holidays coming up. So it was 5 days slash week the weeks before, and 5 days slash week for the coming weeks after. I look down at my phone and I see the text from her, I can't wait to take you home and play with you, 4 hours. I've just been thinking about f***ing you since the meeting this morning and I've been so wet since then. Just imagining her on the phone, arguing with angry customers, putting on an act with everyone hi, how are you, all the b**** of the workday, with wet f***ing panties, waiting, excited to see me, really turned me on. Awfully sorry but perhaps you could kindly lower your voice. I'd hate to disturb my neighbors. Thank you so much in advance. I had my loudest wildest f**ks after that. For a while, he kept saying things like, do try to restrain yourself, it would be so rude to wake the neighbors. But eventually he made as much noise. There's something about a really polite and reserved guy that just makes you want to do whatever it takes to get him to misbehave. I was at a party recently and I wasn't really having a good time, so I took a seat near the pool and just started drinking my rum and coke, when all of a sudden this most amazing chick walked right over and sat next to me and gave me a cute little smile. I sat there trying to build up the nerve to say something when she said I want your d inside of me right now. I was really confused and said how we don't even know each other she giggled and said I'm on the phone silly she walked away after that and that my friends was the closest thing to a sexy comment aimed at me. I was hanging out with a girl for the second time. We are furiously making out, clothes come off, and lots of heavy petting, but nothing progresses further, her choice. I realize I have to wake up in 2 hours for work. I get dressed, while she is just in her panties. I notice it is raining outside, and I say something along the lines of her putting on a shirt, so she didn't get wet. She takes my hand, puts it in her crotch, and whispers in my ear, but you already made me wet. That one is gonna stick with me for a bit. Me and the same girl were at a friend's 21st birthday party, and we both were moderately drunk. She is sitting in my lap, whispering in my ear all the dirty things she wants to do with me and to me. The entire night we are flirting and teasing each other, waiting for the moment when we get home. I had taken another friend there to the party, so he was passed out in the back seat while she is rubbing me through my pants the entire ride home. We get home, rip each other's clothes off, and she pushes me onto the bed. She looks at me and says, I've wanted you in my mouth all night, and proceeds to suck on me. Soon after, we are having some wild, feral, rabid animals, and she screams, Side me, I want you to fill me up. God damn. My ex once told me, I want all of you inside me. 
I think my young brain exploded, and I was so turned on. Making out, lots of foreplay, and just about to start having the s when my wife looks up at me, and says do you hate me? Me, confused, uh, no, I love you tell me you hate me I, hate you, now fuck me like you hate me, I c buckets. I used to try and eat lots of fruit, usually bananas, to make sure my semen would taste relatively good, about a day prior to my ex coming over, optimistic about catching a BJ or two. One day she said to me, so, I'll come over Friday, start eating bananas now. How dry do you want it? Flirting with my wife via text. Me, did you like the kinky sex last night? Starting to, explore, huh, no. I sit there, total failure at everything. She follows with, I don't like kinky sex. I love kinky sex. The kinkier the better. Like the kind we are going to have, when you get home. Never so glad I was sitting at a desk. I was told by my boyfriend I just wanna sit down with you and watch Star Wars in our PJs after a long day of work which for some reason got me revved up. So we made it halfway through A New Hope before the boning started. My ex-girlfriend was a bartender, a fucking hot one, and told a few of her female co-workers right in front of me, all he has to do is look at me and I get wet. The then came over and put my hand against her inner thigh. She had little shorts on and I could feel it dripping down her leg. I'm not a huge love aid of a person anymore and hated that I could never get my ex to talk dirty to me so when my current BF said I'm going to f you like the filthy little f you are. Yeah, drove me insane. A lesbian once told me I was pretty like a girl. Not sure why, but I consider it the best compliment I have ever had.